So hi, uh, today I want to show you how to access Google Analytics through Google Analytics Reporting API if you are in Google Colab. Google Colab is more or less um, a Jupyter Notebook uh, running in the Google Cloud. And the cool thing here is you can share that notebook with all your colleagues and it's more or less an instant, instant accessible method to share uh, Jupyter Notebooks and uh, so it's really cool but um, yeah if you share something in the cloud um, then you maybe want to care about your um, credentials which allow you to access Google Analytics through the API and uh, so I will show a method how to do that how to keep the credentials separated and um, Actually, it's not so different from doing it on a local machine. So, let's start. Um, I will go to the real code, which is runnable. I've prepared that file. And, of course, I will share that file uh, uh, in the comments below. And um, with this file, you can go and um, just edit these few parts here and make it work. Okay, and I will edit uh, and add this video in here. Okay, but let's switch to the real one. Um, the real one um, looks like that. And let's start. So I'm loading some libraries and uh, the first thing I want to show you here is that I need to mount my Google Drive. So it's asking me for permission to access Google Drive and of course I will give that permission, grant that permission here and um, now I'm able to access my Google Drive from this Google Colab file and hopefully these two lines will show me within this folder in my Google Drive all um, the files in there. So it's four files in there and you can prove that here it's the four, four files and the important file I have here is this last file, uh, this first file here. This first file is the file which I have from, um, from, from Google Cloud to access Google Analytics. And I made another video, I will also link that in the comments, or I already linked it here, um, how to get this basic setup done uh, for a local setup, but uh, it's more or less the same uh, method if you do it in Google Colab or if you do it on a local machine. Okay, so afterwards, if I, if I have that file with the credentials within the same folder, I can load that. And now the information within the file, which is a, it's a JSON, it's now in key data. And to um, authorize with uh, Google Analytics reporting API, you need um, this uh, key data, you need a scope, and you need a few ID which you want to check in your Google Analytics. All explained in the other video, but Okay, so that's here and basically it's just exchanging this method um, to be able to access from Google Colab compared to the other uh, method on the local machine. And uh, this method takes uh, the key data within the file and the scope and then you can run. And from here on it's basically custom code. Um, we will run that anyway. Uh, this one I pressed already, I think. Oops, okay. So now it's collecting data from Google Analytics. And if we have the data, we need to run this one again. And now we have the data in a, in a table because of this pivo function and so on. And um, I also want to show you now um, how to export that. I have this clean uh, Google Sheet. So there's the Google Sheet. And um, 
I want to export now the data within this data frame to this sheet because at some point you want to handle it maybe in the sheet and um, have it like uh, more accessible for everyone in the sheet so not working in this uh, colab file. Okay, so therefore you need again to authorize because now I use, used another method just to show you that's gspread. It could also be done with, with the method I showed above with uh, this drive library here. Um, and there you need to authorize again and with the same account. Da, da, da. Um, so let's go here and authorize. Now I'm able to access um, the sheet more or less. And in the last step, I'm accessing a sheet called output, like this one, uh, with the first spreadsheet and writing the data frame to that um, worksheet with the methods um, set with data frame. And now this one should have data. You see? So that's pretty cool. So you need, actually, you just need three files in a folder in your Google Drive one being a Google Colab file, one being an output file, and one being credentials. And then you can set up this. And the cool thing is you could share that easily with your coworkers or with even with strangers, because I will share it with you too. And um, the only thing you need to care about is to not give, him, give them the credential file, but they could then easily put their credential file for their setup in here and uh, use that code to have uh, Google Analytics data in this nice uh, way to handle data in Google Colab. So that's it.